guys, it's Jessica. Today we're going to do something a little bit new. We're going to talk about how I know the Black Widow movie is absolute garbage without ever watching it, at least from a storytelling and character building perspective. Now, if you've watched the Black Widow and you enjoyed it for like the action scenes or for filling out the Marvel Universe or for setting up a show, then this movie could have still worked for you. This is not in any way to negate that. So if you liked it, great. We all have different tastes. I'm glad that made you happy. Even though I really enjoyed the Black Widow character, I thought she was a lot of fun. I was very interested in her. I was really looking forward to a Black Widow movie. The release of a Black Widow movie now and the kind of story they could be telling for me is not going to work. In fact, is very insulting to anyone who wanted this movie to happen. Let's start out with the obvious reasons this movie is going to be garbage. Black Widow is dead. There is no stakes or tension for this movie. Anything we're looking at now is some kind of flashback, retrospective, and it's something that happened in the Marvel Universe that wasn't that important because it was never mentioned, she didn't have any scars from it. All of those things that would have told us that this story we're about to tell is important has not been laid down groundwork wise within the Marvel Universe. So whatever this story is, it's filler and it's meant to do something besides be important within the Marvel world or develop the character in some way. The way it's placed and framed really reminds me of the release of Solo, which is another movie where we already knew how Han Solo had died and we knew all of the great and important things he'd done leading up to that. Solo just could never have taken off. There couldn't have been any stakes inherently. We're never worried for the character's safety. We're never worried if the Millennium Falcon's going to get destroyed. All of these things that could be really gripping and exciting and draw you in as a viewer are automatically gone. You've already seen what this character does in the future. The same thing applies here for the Black Widow. Disney and Marvel clearly don't understand what makes the Black Widow a great character. We were introduced to the Black Widow in Iron Man 2. She came in as like a secretary who was sort of flirtatious with Tony Stark and for most of the movie that's how she is portrayed as like this harmless secretary that's a little bit curious and a little bit nosy but is more like a love interest competition for the other woman than a character in and of herself. And at the end, we find out that she's actually a spy for S.H.I.E.L.D. and that she's been holding Tony Stark's uh, safety in her hands, you know, by watching over him and making sure that he's not a threat to the larger world. And that's a super interesting way to introduce a character. It lets us know Black Widow's focus is an espionage. And it also lets us know that she uses her female charms, her petite stature, the way that society generally sees women as non-threatening. She uses that to her advantage. She lulls people into a false sense of security. They either has them let their guard down or release information they might not want to, everyone to know. When she gathers all that information or she's inside someone's guard, that's when she has the chance to either strike back or report back to her uh, team with the information she has. So a good Black Widow movie would have had her doing like a lot of sneaking around, espionage, cat burglar, femme fatale sort of things. And based off of the trailer, what we're getting is Explosion Central and the Black Widow acting like a superhuman. Batman has regular average strength and that's part of what makes him compelling. The Black Widow having that regular average strength and still being able to go toe to toe to sort of weave in and out and handle herself with other superheroes is part of what made her interesting. Like if we wanted explosions and superpower and just crazy CGI feats, that's what Miss Marvel is for. That's not what Black Widow is for. I think this is a combined Disney Marvel issue on the Marvel side because Marvel has waited so long to release a Black Widow movie which says to me they didn't know exactly where to go with her solo movie or they were unsure of whether or not her solo movie would be successful. The ideal time for a Black Widow movie would have been either right after the first Avengers, right after the second Avengers, or directly after Civil War. That area would have been perfect for Black Widow. We had enough characterization for her, we had enough interest, we'd proven that Scarlett Johansson has incredible acting acting chops and could play that character, that's when we would have gotten something that would have mattered stakes wise and would have drawn an audience in. Also right in that time, that's a, a big window, it's between 2011 and 2017, there's a huge empty 
space for a female superhero. In 2017, we get Wonder Woman. So if you had been first, if you'd jumped in and thrown the gauntlet down, you could have had even a bigger wave, a bigger swell and appreciation. I mean, look at the success of Wonder Woman, the first movie. That was huge as far as people going to see it, the kind of media attention it got. And the movie is good, but it's not as good as other superhero movies that came out around that time. And it still got way more hype. And part of that is just because it was the first superhero female protagonist story. Black Widow had a chance to be that and already have some characterization, some audience recognition behind her to do it. And Disney has shown traditionally that they do not understand what makes characters interesting or compelling. Movies like Han Solo, Cruella, they're all showing that they take characters who are popular that people will put eyes on and they just throw them into situations or address critiques that nobody really cares about. Like if you went into Cruella wanting to see it because you like Cruella de Vil as a character and you wanted to see her be evil and zany and just larger than life, you did not get that. And if you go into something like Han Solo because you really enjoyed Han Solo's character, you wanted to see a young Han, you wanted to see him sort of mold into the standoffish, untrusting guy who gets his arc to join the rebellion in episodes four, five, and six. Again, that's not something we got from that movie. Disney doesn't understand character building. It doesn't understand what a character's appeal is and that it's willing to do almost anything if they think it will make them money and they don't care about the integrity of character, the larger storytelling stakes, anything that makes media and entertainment valuable to me. And then the last reason that I don't think that this movie is going to be worth the hype or any good is the whole girl power aspect. It had that opportunity to be one of the first female superhero stories and to do it really well. And if they had done it then, they'd have got this huge swell of girl power support who would have taken all that backlash and that sexism that we'd seen thrown towards both Scarlett Johansson and the Black Widow between 2011 and 2014. All of that sexism, the pushback to then have her own feature movie, it would have been a big swell. It would have been like the girl power effect. It would have been very good for that movie. And But I mean, at this point in time, we have a couple of successful female superheroes. We have the first Wonder Woman movie, we have Birds of Prey, and the Scarlet Witch. So it's just not edgy or innovative or bold or daring now to have a Black Widow movie. It's really safe. And for me, that takes some of the shine off of it, especially because opportunities to do this presented so early and the production has been so mixed. I just don't feel good about the team that's made the movie. And I don't feel like their endeavor is creatively based or based in some kind of desire to actually tell her story. We really just want to make money and set something else up. I know this story is going to fall really flat. It's going to be a bunch of filler. It's going to be, for lack of a better word, total and absolute garbage. It's a female-led superhero movie, so it feels like something that should appeal to me. And I just wanted to explain why it doesn't and why I'm kind of insulted when people tell me it's something I should like. Phrase Frame Jeff stepping in here. I wanted to go ahead and pitch you guys two different Black Widow movies that I would have loved to have watched. The first is actually going to be a take like Red Sparrow, but instead of doing an origin story for the Black Widow that's a thriller style, I would have done it more as a cathartic, trauma, emotional driven story that gave us both Black Widow's origins, the depth of sorrow and abuse that happened to get her that way, and how she sort of triumphantly overcame comes it to become a superhero and to have a place within S.H.I.E.L.D. and to help save the world. Another story that I would have loved to have seen come out of the Black Widow is how she joined up with S.H.I.E.L.D. We could have had her working for the Russians, doing a fun back and forth spy thing, kind of playfully playing with maybe one of the spy elements of S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe we could have even gotten some fun back and forth between her and Hawkeye. Perhaps he's the one who recruited her. But like she's always one step ahead. She's always getting the information before S.H.I.E.L.D can come in. They have like this just missing each other kind of fun. And this would have really showed off her espionage talent 
it, it would have shown her as a character with a lot of spunky personality. And we still could have got some fun fighting scenes, fun chase scenes from it. So those are going to be my pitches for a better Black Widow movie. I realize that neither one of them exactly fits the superhero niche, but I think they would have really given us something fun about the Black Widow's character. Even though we know how the Black Widow story ends, this would have given us like a little bit more shading in detail and it would have made her sacrifice matter more and it would have made her character more adored and enjoyed in future videos. Thanks for listening to those pitches. I'm going to let you guys return to the rest of the video. Freeze Frame Jess out. Did you watch The Black Widow? Go ahead and tell me in those comments down below. Also, if you guys could leave a thumbs up here if you enjoyed this style video. That way I know whether or not this is something you want to see going forward. If you're looking for other superhero content from me, I have a workshop on Wonder Woman 1984 that I'm going to go ahead and link up here. And I've also done a bunch of reviews on each episode of The Nevers, which isn't exactly superheroes, but it's very close with the Victorian era women with with supernatural powers and I'm gonna go ahead and link the Nevers episodes up here. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!